In this video, let's learn how to find the minimum and maximum values present in a binary search tree. Finding the minimum or maximum value by itself does not have a huge significance, but depending on how you choose to implement the delete method, finding either the minimum or maximum value is necessary to remove a node from the tree. So you can consider this as a prerequisite for the next video. Now we know that in a binary search tree, the left child's value is always less than the parent's value and the right child's value is always greater than the parent's value. By that logic, we can safely say the leftmost leaf node is the smallest value in the tree and the rightmost leaf node is the largest value in the tree. To find the minimum value in the tree, return the value of the leftmost leaf node. To find the maximum value in the tree, return the value of the rightmost leaf node. Pretty simple logic to implement. Let's head back to Replit and write the code. Let's call the method min, which accepts the root node as a parameter. We're going to handle two scenarios. First, if the root node does not contain any left child node, we return the root node value as the minimum. Second, if the root node does contain left child nodes, we recursively traverse till we reach the leftmost leaf node and return its value. The if block is the base case for recursion and is satisfied when we reach the leaf node. This is the min function. Let's now define the max function along similar lines. Let's call the method max, which accepts the root node as a parameter. Once again, we're going to handle two scenarios. First, if the root node does not contain any right child node, we return the root node value as the maximum. Second, if the root node does contain right child nodes, we recursively traverse till we reach the rightmost leaf node and return its value. Return this dot max root dot right. Once again, the if block is the base case for recursion and is satisfied when we reach the right node. So this is the max function. Let's now test both the methods. Console log bst.min and we pass in bst.root and in the next line, call bst.max passing in bst.root. Run the code. And we see 3 is minimum and 15 is maximum. Our code works as expected. Join me in the next video where we are going to make use of the min method to implement the delete method to remove a node from the tree. I'll see you in the next one.